This training module is intended to provide a quick look at what is involved in a truckside harness installation of a Fleet Flex spreader. There are four main steps involved. The battery cable and fuse block installation, routing the vehicle harness from the battery to the rear bumper, running the control harness through the firewall, and finding the center high mount stoplight tap-in, or what is called the chimsel light. Beginning with the battery cable, it is advised to remove the main battery cables from the battery, then mount the fuse holder that is included with the harness kit so that the 22 inch red battery cable can reach the positive post of the battery. Place the 100 amp fuse in the holder, then install the red 22 inch battery cable to one side of the fuse so that the ring terminal is directly on top of the fuse. Then place the lock washer and nut on top. If it is unavoidable that the cable is touching a metal surface, chafe wrap it to prevent it from grounding out. Finish the battery cable installation by attaching the other end of the 22 inch cable to the positive post of the battery. Then run the vehicle harness up through the engine compartment from below and attach the red lead to the other end of the fuse holder and the black lead to the negative battery terminal. Then snap on the fuse black holder cover. Finish routing the vehicle battery cable to the rear of the truck and avoid any hot, sharp, or moving parts of the vehicle. Routing will vary from truck to truck. Make sure that the cable is zip tied to the frame so that it can't get snagged or dropped to the ground. Plug the vehicle control harness into the spreader harness. Lay out a path for the control harness from the battery to the inside of the cab. Avoid any hot, sharp, or moving parts. Plug the red wire into the switched accessory tap-in or into an upfitter switch if available. Find an area on the firewall for routing the control harness through. You may need to drill a 5 8 inch hole in the firewall. Be sure to check for wires, fuel lines, fuel tanks, airbags, etc. before drilling. If you had a drill to the firewall, insert a rubber grommet into the hole and then run the cable through it. Find a spot in the cab to mount the control. Make sure that it's in easy reach of the operator and without restricting access to the vehicle controls and instruments. All Helix spreaders come standard with a center high mounted stoplight, or chimsel for short. The orange wire in the spreader harness is for the chimsel circuit wire tab. Every vehicle manufacturer varies the location of the tab. Some vehicles have a spot in the cab that can be used, but they can often be found in the rear of the truck along the frame rail. Do not splice into the stoplight or the switch by the brake pedal. Splicing at the stoplight switch may affect transmission shifting, cruise control, or other functions. For vehicles with a tap at the rear of the vehicle along the frame rail, Cut the tape in the convoluted tubing. Pull the orange wire to the location where the chimsel tap is located. Cut a small V notch in the tubing for the wire to exit. Pull the wire through the V notch and tape the tubing on each side of the exit point. Trim any excess length from the orange wire and splice into the vehicle tap. And that's it. The vehicle side wiring is now complete. You are ready to install and connect your spreader into your truck.